It's a landmark day, and I think that many of us don't really realize how significant this is. It took a long time to persuade many people that this is the right thing to do. Because let's face it, when we go into a supermarket, it looks shiny and new and perfect. Everything is there and we can choose. What you are doing today is lifting the lid on the story behind our food supply chain. The difficulties for those who don't have power, they don't have choice, and the relentless pressures they face as producers to deliver that shiny quality food to European consumers. And the lid needs to be lifted because the story is not a good one. So I am really pleased that we're at this stage. And I think we should thank the President of the Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, for his commitment to this uh, issue. I want to move, if I may, in 30 seconds to a wider point. This is coming at a critical time. We have a common agriculture policy that will be reformed and is under budgetary pressure. We have farmers in my own country who face a fodder crisis because of unprecedented weather conditions impacted, I'm sure, by climate change. We have farm families that face incredible mental pressures at this stage. I want you to read, if you can see what I'm holding up here, and I'll read it out to you. This is a story published in the Irish press this week. Europe is being fed on the lives and blood of 1,000 farmers every single year. I'm going to send you a copy of this because we don't collect statistics on the number of farmers who are killed on farms throughout Europe. We don't have full figures. But a leading farm safety expert in Ireland said this week that this is the story behind our food supply chain. Your work, Commissioner, I hope, will bring some sense to what's happening, will stop the relentless pressures on farmers who are facing accident and indeed death on their farms, and will allow us to have a holistic food chain that is fair to everyone, particularly farmers, because today it's not fair. Thank you.